we're still in the, in the age of the dinosaur as far as uh, technology is concerned. We still draw the same way that Thomas Nast drew in the 1850s and the 1860s. We draw with pen and ink. I still stick my little pen tip in a little bottle of ink and spill it on my cell phone in a while and, uh, and, and draw that way, and then it's shot down. But uh, no, I, I, uh, I'll draw with just a regular lead pencil on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. Then my final product is 10 by 12. And that, you know, the size of that varies perfect by cartoons. Some of them like to draw much larger, some of them like to draw much smaller. I think Darling's cartoons were drawn on a, on a piece of paper this size, the originals were, which is fairly large. Yes? How about a year ago or so, public television was putting on photo cartoons from different papers or something more animated? Do you see any future expanding into that or? No. That, uh, that was tested a few times by NBC or, or ABC, which they did a few, and they just didn't work out. And they, they attempted it for about a month, and they just weren't effective. See, in my opinion, the best editorial cartoon, and what's most important in an editorial cartoon, is that it's delivered fast, and one panel is, is all you need for a cartoon. Once you start stretching it out and putting three or four or five panels on it, or making it animated, then you lose the effectiveness of it. Yes. Do you have any topics you go up to? Not really. There's some no-win topics. You know, some that you're never going to, you know, you, you're just going to incite a riot over, uh, which is abortion, which is gun control, things like that. Um, but to comment on it, I mean, if it's in the news, you'll comment on it, but you know you're not going to affect anybody one way or the other. You just get a lot of mail, phone calls, death threats, things like that. <laughs> Yes? What do you feel your biggest compliment has been? Biggest compliment? I can't remember my last one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, you know, I, um, I know. People say they like my cartoons. You know, that's, I, as far as a compliment, as far as you mean com comments by somebody or awards or what? My comments by somebody. Oh, I, I don't know. It's just. I can't remember the last one. I read a piece in the, in the Urbandale News, and this one lady like punched me in the nose. I don't think it's a compliment, but it's part of my business. Yes? Uh, do you have a caricature of yourself you can do? No. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <laughs> I don't like to do that kind of thing. <laughs> yes? What are your favorite um, comic strips? What are my favorite comic strips? Oh, I'm sorry, but my favorite one is long gone. That's Pogo. Uh, I don't really have a favorite comic strip. Uh, Blue County is funny. I like that. Uh, Doonesbury is kind of lost. I mean, it, 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 after the change, I kind of lost uh, interest in that. Um, uh, Gummy Bear certainly is. <laughs> <laughs> yes? Does the governor pay you any compliments? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Does, does no, do most people know who our governor is? <laughs> okay, I'll draw him for you if you don't know what he looks like. He's a cute little fellow, I can tell you. <laughs> and he probably hates my guts. No, I'm not. But the governor can never say anything against my cartoons, though. His mother happens to have two of them, two of the originals. Uh, we don't hand out the originals very often. They're, they're kept by the paper, but... His mother called up the chief political writer one day and said, I just love these two cartoons. They, were, they remind me so much of what Terry looked like when he was a little boy. And, uh, I'll just bring it up to him next time he has a comment to me. But I'm glad I moved to the state for that one reason. Uh, he's got this great little face. I, I love it. He has his little chipmunk cheeks. I'm going to draw a whole body length uh, view on this because Kind of looks like the bee and leave the bee right like that. <laughs> he, he has those little cheeks that are kind of puffed out there and a little mustache like that. Actually, I'm kind of glad he got reelected. Um, Lowell Jones was not as fun to draw. Put him in his cowboy boots and his toupee, but it's. <laughs> I 
lot of times he has this bewildered look on his face, like, what's going to hit me next? Uh, <laughs> And sometimes I don't have to work for a caricature with, with, the, with the guys up on the hill. I, uh, there's a few of them that have called each other, called this man a little twerp. Um, so you don't have to do much, but you, you know, the stuff is right there for you. But, uh, you know, I, I give him the whole, the whole beef outfit, I mean, a little striped shirt on the guy. Sears jeans, I think they used to wear back then. Or black pro kids. I'm sure once in a while he sees my cartoons, I'm sure his aides have to scrape them off the ceiling with paint scrapers. But. I mean, he's a, he, he must be a pretty easy, uh, easy going guy. He hasn't bugged my house or anything. Uh, that's a little fellow there. That's our guy. No, he hasn't complimented me that. I don't know why. Any other questions? Well, thank you very much.